The UK government concluded that it was highly likely that Russia was responsible for this reckless and despicable act, and there were only two plausible explanations. Either this was a direct act by the Russian state against our country, or conceivably the Russian government could have lost control of a military-grade nerve agent and allowed it to get into the hands of others. In Britain, investigations into a former double agent's poisoning point to Moscow. Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia collapsed on a bench outside a shopping center in southern England almost two weeks ago, after being exposed to a mystery substance. Both remain in critical condition, and the poison has left parts of the medieval city of Salisbury off limits. Now Britain is braced for a showdown with Russia. It's announced a series of measures against Moscow after it failed to meet a deadline to explain how a deadly nerve agent was used on UK soil. It was right to offer Russia the opportunity to provide an explanation. But their response has demonstrated complete disdain for the gravity of these events. They have provided no credible explanation that, they, that could suggest they lost control of their nerve agent. No explanation as to how this agent came to be used in the United Kingdom. No explanation as to why Russia has an undeclared chemical weapons program in contravention of international law. Instead, they have treated the use of a military-grade nerve agent in Europe with sarcasm, contempt and defiance. May says Kripal was targeted by Russian assassins, but the Kremlin says it's not to blame. Moscow refused to respond further to the UK's ultimatum until it received samples of the nerve agent. Russia is not guilty. Russia is ready to cooperate in the framework of the Chemical Weapons Convention only if the United Kingdom takes pains to fulfill its legal obligations according to the same document. But the EU and the international community seems to be rallying behind the UK. The use of a highly lethal nerve agent against UK citizens on UK soil is an outrage. The attack was reckless, indiscriminate and irresponsible. Skripal had betrayed dozens of Russian agents to British intelligence before his arrest in Moscow in 2004. The double agent was sentenced to 13 years in prison in 2006 and in 2010 was given refuge in Britain after being exchanged for Russian spies. His poisoning seems to be plunging relations between the UK and Russia to a new low. Britain has faced a similar crisis before. It broke off intelligence cooperation, expelled several Russian diplomats and imposed visa restrictions after the 2006 murder of former Russian agent Alexander Levinenko in London. But critics say the UK was wary of losing billions in Russian investments, and its response was too weak. This time, May says it will expel 23 Russian diplomats, freeze Russian state assets wherever there was evidence of a threat, and downgrade its attendance at the Football World Cup this summer. With Russia's presidential election days away, could the latest scandal help Vladimir Putin define his country by its opposition to the West? even if it means risking more sanctions and increased isolation. Christine Pirovolakis, The Newsmakers.